Hi, I'm Stu Leonard, and you won't believe where I'm standing now. I'm not out in uh, Montana with a whole bunch of our cattle ranchers, and I'm not with a bunch of turkeys. I'm standing in the middle of Stu Leonard's wine store, surrounded by 100,000 bottles of wine. What's our big question we get asked every holiday? What do I serve my family at the holidays? You know what I've done? I've asked our vice president of wines, Jerry Martellero, good friend. He has 400 books at his house all about wine. He just loves wine and reads about it all the time. So knowledgeable, so I've said to Jerry, pick five. This isn't Letterman's top 10, this is Stu Leonard's top five. So Jerry's picked five great wines for your holiday table. Jerry, tell us about it. Well, I guess, you know, there wasn't a shortage of great wine to pick from. What we try to look at, something that would appeal, you know, great value, great tasting, and over deliver in their price point. And that's why we came up with these five. The first wine is, the, is from our old friend Marco Bacci from Castello de Bassi, but this is his Marema property. Marema is on the Tuscan coast. It is the new hot area in Tuscany. It's the great Chardonnay alternative. It's got a lot of, a lot of aromatics on the nose, apricots, peaches, flowers, real crisp. People who love Sancerre will flip over this wine. Real crisp and clean. You know, people are, get, get, are turned off by Chardonnay with too much oak, too much steel. This is the perfect balance. You know, you have, you have somebody coming over for the holidays that really doesn't drink wine, here's a wine. You know, it's a little lighter than Chardonnay. It is, it is. Yeah. It's got more fruit up front, <clears throat> with a nice chill on it. This will be perfect. You know, if you're in an Italian household, the seven fishes on Christmas Eve, boy, you can't oh, pick up perfect. One. Great with fish. Perfect with fish. 